Hey, what's up you guys? Uh, today we are going to be heading down to Branson uh, to one of my favorite vacation rental hotspots. Uh, people, you know, call me and ask me, Jason, where, if you were going to invest in Branson, that's uh, my first vacation rental, uh, where's the best place to get started? This place down here is on my top five uh, places to invest in Branson and I think I'm gonna start doing a series here coming up we'll create a playlist of some of my favorite places to uh, get started investing in Branson vacation rentals and today we're gonna be starting with Stonebridge Village Coming into Branson West uh, here, uh, it shares the same zip code as Reed Spring, um, 65737. So if you see a lot of listings in Stonebridge Village uh, underneath Branson West or Reed Spring, like why they're listed in two different cities, it's because they share the same zip code. You got your Walmart over there, Walgreens over here, O'Reilly's gas station here at the corner they're putting in a new Casey's over here uh, there is gonna be like a big marina you know mechanic marina shop over here you got your King Food Saver grocery store and on down that way you've got Sonic Dana's barbecue uh, down here on this side we're turning on to 76 here. This is like where, you know, your, most of your fast food chain stuff, it's pretty limited, I will say. This is about as far west as you can get on 76 out of Branson. I used to live uh, here in Stonebridge for like almost 10 years. And I really loved living there. It was the perfect getaway uh, for me as a, a Branson night, you know. I would work in shows in town um, during the day and then I would come home. It's a gated, private gated community. Um, it's just re a real sense of serenity and escape from all of the Branson hustle and, and bustle. And I think that's why a lot of people like to stay as guests uh, out at Stonebridge. And I'll um, kind of give you a tour as much as I can of like the amenities here as well too while we're down here, it'd be good. And um, yeah. It'll be good. So you do have like a front desk, you know, front office here. And this is where, you know, if you're going to use Stonebridge's own uh, nightly rental check-in facility, it's located right there in that front building. Yeah, usually you'll have to check in with a guard if you're a guest here. Owners, you'll get like a uh, you know a little thing to go up on your uh, windshield. Uh, then you can just go in the other gate over there. We don't have to check in with the with the guard. And there's a private entrance for owners only. You can come in and out of, which is super nice because then that allows you to get in and out of Branson uh, and kind of skip all of the. Branson, and uh, Silver Dollar City traffic. Okay, I'm gonna take you guys over to the clubhouse now. I'm sure you're on the pro shop, the Ledgestone Grill. Lots of space down there for events as well that you could rent out as an owner. All right, let me show you guys real quick. Just some of the amenities here. And this is the main pool area here behind me. All right, let's get back inside the car. <laughs> it's starting to come down, huh? So you've got like a mixed bag of everything out here in Stonebridge. You've got 
huge multi-million dollar luxury second homes out here on the golf course. You've got condos, you've got townhomes, you've got cabins, and that's one we're going to today. There are tons of cabins. Um, they are standalone, and I'll show you when we get there, but these are actually treated, and the ownership is a condominium. Now here's the catch with Stonebridge, is that because you're in a area that is both homes and condos, right, you have both HOA and COA dues combined, which is almost around like $4,000 collectively. It's about three, I wanna say about 385-ish a month for these particular cabins. Different condos out here run uh, differently depending on the size, square feet, uh, location. So um, it's not just across the board a flat fee. So that is uh, kind of the breakdown of how most of these go. It's either, you know, two bedrooms are all down here on the main. And then if you have a four bedroom, you get the two additional bedrooms up top. Nice, big, huge windows. But again, this cool feature on this one is the walk, walk in access on the back, which makes it super attractive. And obviously this large screened in porch here. All right, so now comes the fun part for me, which is the whole reason why we're here, is to uh, get inventory. So I gotta take pictures of all the personal property. This is pretty standard when we write a contract on any nightly rental. Uh, we get an itemized inventory list put together for our buyers, which means that I have to go through and exactly that. <laughs> we go through uh, step by step, on every, take a picture of everything, put it up into a Google Drive folder for both parties to sign off on. Reason why we do this, so that things that sometimes can end up going missing uh, right before close during final walkthrough, we have an itemized inventory list. Both people signed off on it exactly what is to be included. And that can be sometimes tedious, but uh, it's very necessary um, to make sure that everybody's on the same page as far as all of the uh, personal items that are to be included with the sale. Well, we're all done. We finally uh, got everything accounted for takes a while, but I think it's definitely worth getting everything itemized. Um, hope you enjoyed kind of tagging along with me today. Make sure you click the like button and subscribe if you enjoy this kind of video content on Branson Vacation Rental. Um, we'll keep cranking out more of it as we uh, get along throughout the rest of this year, all right? Take care, I'm Jason with Great Branson Homes, and I will see you in the next video.